Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome back. For today's dessert, we're going to be making some chocolate candies. So last weekend, I made these chocolate candies and I'm using kind of like the same flavor and the same kind of concept. But for this one, I wanted to make some bunnies out of chocolate. And you're going to be using only three ingredients. The first one being chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet and I'm using half a cup of chocolate chips. Then some nuts, chopped, and what you can see here is a bit more than one tablespoon, but I ended up using a lot less than that. And some peanut butter. Again, quantities are optional, but with the quantities I just mentioned, I was able to make like 8 to 10 treats. Now, as far as for tools, you're going to be needing a tray, parchment paper or wax paper, some scissors, a Ziploc bag or a sandwich bag, and a toothpick. Oh, and a spoon as well. Now, if you're really good at, you know, freehanding stuff and you don't really need a sketch, just go ahead and, you know, do your thing. But I just need a sketch because sometimes if I don't do this, the final product doesn't end up looking like what it is. So I'm just going to be getting myself from this cute image that I saw online of some bunnies. I couldn't find my pencil, but if you have one, just use it because if you make any mistakes, you can erase them. And that's it for the bunny. For the circle, I'm just going to take this cookie cutter and I'm just going to trace a circle going around it. Then I'm just going to cut those pieces of paper and that's it for my sketches. Now, I would highly suggest you to have everything ready before you start, you know, melting or tempering your chocolate because it's easier that way. I'm going to start by just placing my tray with my sketches and my wax paper. Now, it depends on the chocolate you're using and the method you want to go for. If you want to just melt your chocolate or if you want to temper it, I tempered it. Or you can always use like candy melts and stuff like that. But that's optional because I really like the flavor of this chocolate. Now, with my spoon, I'm just going to go and just add some chocolate on the top of my circle. And that is what I did in my previous video that I mentioned before. And then with a toothpick, I'm just going to kind of smooth the whole thing and make sure I don't have any air bubbles because sometimes you are going to find some air bubbles. And this is it for the circle. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to let it dry and set. For my bunny, it's going to be a bit different. I'm just going to be using my Ziploc bag, make a small tiny hole on the, my Ziploc bag, uh, fill it in. And I'm just going to go on top of my wax paper and just follow the sketch that I made following the lines. First, kind of the outline. The outline is like the line that you can see that right there. Just go ahead and fill the whole thing. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just as long as it kind of looks like a bunny, which I think mine does. Maybe I'm just like totally wrong. Maybe it doesn't look like a bunny at all. And then I'm just going to be using my toothpick to kind of help me, you know, distribute all my chocolate and just kind of like smooth the whole thing. So you just have to keep on doing that until you pretty much run out of chocolate, that's what I did. And I was able to have like from eight to 10 chocolate. I have no idea because they were gone before I was able to count the whole thing. But just so you have an idea of what, how many you can get with this um, quantities. If you make your chocolate or your candies a bit smaller in size, you're going to be able to have more candies. And if you make them bigger, you're going to have well, less candies. And then I'm just going to let it dry and set as I did with my round candy. And this is another take of the whole thing. As you can see, I'm kind of lifting my right hand and just letting my chocolate fall into the line. It's easier this way rather than, you know, dragging the Ziploc bag. But, you know, just use whatever technique you feel comfortable with. I find that this one gets me more precision and it's easier for me to handle the whole thing like the Ziploc bag and my figurine. And then again, letting the whole thing dry and set. Small tip that I have for you, when you're working with your Ziploc bag, just close your Ziploc bag because this can happen. I was struggling with the whole mess that I have going on. It was all over the place at this point. Well, once that's done, I'm just going to take my Ziploc bag again and I'm just going to fill it with some peanut butter. And I'm just going to drizzle some peanut butter on top of my bunnies. And once that's done, I'm just going to add some nuts on the top. And you can pretty much do whatever you want on those circle ones. Um, I wrote messages like Happy Easter on those things. And then just, you know, sprinkled some nuts on the top. 
I was going to draw a bunny, but it was a fail, kind of a fail, because it ended up not looking like a bunny at all. It was looking more like a bat to me. Maybe you want to make them like oval shaped instead of circles and then you have like the whole kit. And then this is how you peel the whole thing out from the wax paper. I used a knife. Do want to kind of be careful though because your ears could break just as a prevention. But that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much kind of obsessed with chocolate, peanut butter and nuts. I'm always thinking of new ways, ideas or just new designs, we could say, that I could come up with. And the ones that I like, I'm just going to be sharing them with you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you find this interesting, don't forget to share it and give this video a thumbs up and hope you give it a try. I'll talk to you later.